Hi, my name is Cold Bear and this is my list of the best free strategy games on Steam. If you know me, you can probably guess that this is a list about real strategy games and not some crappy mobile stuff. Let's start with Spellforce 3 vs. Game gives you the chance to enter Spellforce battlefields for free. You can choose whether you want to take on AI enemies in skirmish battle or go head to head with other human players in both ranked and unranked PvP matches. Yes, free game with ranked matches. It's quite cool. Indeed it is. Economy here works as in Northgard, and the hero's concept is taken straight from Warcraft 3. It is easy to understand, but hard to master. Just like cooking. Or your imaginary ex-girlfriend. Yeah, the one which was before your current imaginary one. Here you will be randomly assigned a faction, giving you a chance to play as orcs, humans or elves. Three races out of six available in Spellforce Free Universe. Each faction has its own strengths and traits, so you'll need to develop your strategy to make most of your units. I have tried the game and I was really worthy adversary for easy AI. Sadly, I lost. And I am a Platinum League StarCraft 2 player, so not a total noob, just the whole concept is very different from my favorite space game. By the way, you know that StarCraft 2 is free, right? Although it's not available on Steam. Anyway, on top of it all, you can also check out the single player scenario called, um... All ha hale hale hashish to get the glimpse what single player campaigns of Spellforce free are. War Selection this is a real-time alternative history strategy with base building, resource extraction and warfare. Here you'll battle for supremacy against dozens of opponents on a giant normos procedurally generated map. Even 15 versus 15 skirmishes are available, but the game doesn't have such a big community to actually make it work. I can remember when StarCraft 2 removed free-for-all mode because it was a pain to wait for 4 players to connect, so forget all that 15 versus 15 epicness right away. Just like you forgot your dream of becoming an outstanding penis doctor long time ago. Although, if you somehow get lucky, keep in mind that at the same time you can practice your cooking skills as well. Three hours later. You know, easy to understand, but hard to master. Here, yeah, every player starts in a stone age and then goes through seven historical eras by process you are very familiar from Age of Empires. Each evolutionary road brings its own unique game experiences with unique game mechanics and other possibilities. Game has very positive reviews on Steam, but I have also found a lot of unhappy comments about toxic community. You know, free stuff always attracts vultures, so maybe it's best if you play this game with your friends. Lambda Wars Beta I'm pretty much sure that you haven't heard about this one, because most of the dudes who are making similar videos are just copy-pasting stuff from each other instead of trying to find something really cool. And Lambda Wars is beyond cool, because it is set in Half-Life 2 universe. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. This is a free multiplayer source engine modification for Alien Swarm that brings the war between mankind and their brutal combine overlords to a traditional real-time strategy setting. Here you will lead the uprising as a commander of the resistance or crush the rebellion as an overlord of the combine, with both factions featuring a full host of units, abilities, buildings, research and defenses. Game is focused on multiplayer but strategic AI opponents and dedicated single-player missions are also included. One advice though, play for evil aliens, they feel stronger somehow. 0k Construct giant robots and move mountains if needed, conquer the enemy at all costs. This is a traditional real-time strategy with physically simulated units and projectiles. Here you will command over a hundred different units with unique abilities including cloaking, jump jets and terrain manipulation. And no, this is not just a multiplayer game with scarce solo content. Here you will find more than 70 missions and campaigns to be enjoyed alone or co-op with friends. Also here you will find challenging AI, which is nothing like your wife, because Zero Case AI doesn't cheat. That sounds like my game, alright. And if you tend to play with friends, you will find plenty of multiplayer content as well. Free for all, co-op, ladders, replays, spectators and tournaments. Game is really free with no paid advantages and it has very positive reviews on Steam. Monolithic. This is obviously not the prettiest game in this list, or in general, to be fair. Like you and me are not the prettiest members of our families. 
and it's also kinda buggy. But hey, it is free and it can be fun to try it, or not. Here a new world dawns and the gods fight for sovereignty over the land and its inhabitants. In game you guide a pantheon of gods and their followers through time. From dawn of creation to the fires of the apocalypse. Raise your civilization from the sand, build your forces and grow your influence over humanity. Siege enemy settlements with armies of your followers and break their monoliths with devastating abilities. I doubt that you're gonna spend more than an hour or two with this game, but it will cost you nothing to try it out. Game has 6 reviews on Steam right now, so you can be one of the pioneers to write something in there. And this video is sponsored by me and my t-shirt designs, Bear Bender and Bear. I have made those by myself, I painted those pixel by pixel, it took me about 30 years to achieve this quality while not being an artist. If you want to look original and at the same time help me out, buy my t-shirts and become the coolest person in your country, you will find the link in the description below. Hades Star this is a unique space strategy game where thousands of players participate in one shared galaxy. Here you create and grow your space empire over time in a persistent universe that constantly evolves. All new players start in their own yellow star system and over time expand to discover and colonize more planets, set mining patterns, establish trade routes and fight the mysterious alien ships found throughout the galaxy. Players are saying that the economy is really well balanced and the game has no adverse advertising or pay to win system implemented. I know, I know, unbelievable. You can play casually or sink an infinite amount of time into it. You can also play it on your phone, on iOS or the Android and carry it wherever you go. Although with a quarantine everywhere right now, the best place to carry it is probably into your bathroom and conquer the galaxy while sitting and, you know, creating stuff with your personal black hole. Empires Apart. If you like games like Age of Empires, this may be your jam, because from the very first moment you play this, you will see that this game is actually Age of Empires 2. Except it is free and it has loot boxes. And you can play with only one civilization out of six. You have to pay for the rest of them if you want to unleash full potential. And I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you can buy them one by one or obtain them as a bundle for about 22 euros. And that's not the worst part. If you do that, cosmetic upgrades like skins for your units and similar stuff from loot boxes will still cost you additional money, if you want them, so the game will never feel fully free or, you know, yours. Disappointed! But don't let this discourage you from trying the game. You can test your might as the Byzantians against the AI in skirmish, survival and challenge mode or online in ranked and custom matches. So good thing. The game has AI you can play against, bad, no campaign. Although if it was implemented, it would probably cost you money anyway. <laughs> Crusader Kings 2 – A Game for Slow Thinkers No real-time combat, no splattering blood, just plain politics. A real gem for civilization fans, I should say. Crusader Kings 2 is set in medieval Europe with parts of Africa, the Middle East and India as well. Here you take the role of a ruler and try to make it to the very top of the world's hierarchy by diplomacy, scheming and brute force. Game is made so well that on Steam it holds 60,000 reviews and 90% of them are positive. Any game would envy this success. And that is not surprising by knowing the fact that here you can marry your enemy's daughter and become friends with an otherwise hostile country. Together with new ally you attack another country, which was too strong for you to take on alone. And then you can backstab your new ally and occupy his country. Profit. Basically here you will find a gameplay that really makes you feel like a medieval ruler you deserve to be. I am the king. Yeah, sure you are. Blood of Steel. This is a bit a different strategy game because it throws you right into the middle of a battle where you have to hack and slash hundreds of puny enemies and like some brave Klingon achieve glorious victory so all the females would be yours. <laughs> That is how the Klingon lures a mate. 
Drive is an Earth woman. You have nothing to lose anyway, right? So here you, as the general, will set the troop formation. Choose the combination of units and plan combat tactics. Those are the most important things during the war. Besides the epic Legion War, Blood of Steel also provides the real fun of close combat duels between heroes. So you can combat your adversary on the most personal level and chop him into pieces like potato salad. Wyrm Sun. Easy way to describe the game is that this is a Warcraft 2, but with modern controls. You can select unlimited units, game supports shift plus click to do a sequence of tasks, and it supports massive resolutions where you can actually see more instead of stretching the view. Here you will also find free playable civilizations, story-based scenarios, heroes who carry over their level, abilities and items throughout campaign, and possibility to mod the game as you like, and even create your own custom some heroes. So it seems that at last you can create Vodka Bender, the most powerful hero of them all. And now is the time for you to press like and subscribe to my awesome channel for more videos like that. Let's be friends with benefits. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time.